Hey, Trinity family, we've missed you. It's been weird not to have you here. It's been weird not to have large gatherings, but especially not to be here. The psalmist writes, I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Going to God's house is a joyful thing for us as Christians because it's where God comes to us and serves us with his word and gifts and where we get to enjoy the company of our brothers and sisters in Christ. In the New Testament, when the church gathered together, the word ecclesia using to, used to describe them literally meant the gathering of Christians in a worship service. This is why our decision to suspend our in-person services was not a decision that was made lightly or without great consideration. We paid close attention to the recommendations of health professionals regarding public worship, and we've worked to show love to our neighbors by refraining from contributing to this public health crisis. Well, I'm happy today to share that we'll be resuming our in-person worship starting this weekend, May 30th and 31st. I also want you to know that was an equally hard decision to make there's not a magic switch that's flipped to make COVID-19 go away. And if you look around at our own country and around the world, churches have unfortunately been the starting point for large spreads of the virus. We don't want this to happen. However, we realize we can't live in lockdown forever. At some point, life can resume with extra precautions and wise choices that we can all make together to hopefully help alleviate much of the risk of gathering together. In the explanation for the first article of the Apostles' Creed, we confess that we believe that God has given us our reason in all of our senses. We trust in God to protect us, but we also utilize the reason that he's given us to make good choices. Today, I want to share with you these precautions that we've put in place to help us come back together as God's people here at Trinity. So we had to move inside because it started raining outside, but that's all right. So the first thing we want you to think about is if you feel sick or if someone else in your family feels sick, or if you fall in one of the high-risk categories for being susceptible to COVID-19 or having troubles with it, we would ask that you stay home. The good news is our streaming service is going to continue. It's going to move back an hour to 8 o'clock to correspond with our 8 o'clock service but it will still be available for you to watch on YouTube. Also, Lift High the Cross will continue at 8.30 on KLGA on Sunday mornings. Uh, and you can also watch our service, the recording of our service, on Tuesday mornings at 9 o'clock on cable. So we would encourage you to take advantage of watching the service in that way. In order for us to follow the appropriate social distancing guidelines, we've had to limit the number of people in attendance at each of our services to 50. Therefore, pre-registration is required in order to attend one of the services. You can register by going to our website at www.trinityalgona.org or by downloading our new Trinity Church app uh, in your phone or tablet's app store or by calling the church office at 295-3518. Doors will open 20 minutes before the beginning of the service time, and we ask that you come during those 20 minutes to make sure that you can be seated. We also ask that when you come, you come only to the front narthex doors, which will be propped open like this, so that no one has to touch a doorknob. In case of inclement weather, there will be an elder at the door to open the door for you. After you come in the front doors that were already open for you, we'd ask that you come straight into the narthex. If you have your offering, go ahead and deposit it in the offering box that's right here in the narthex. Take a pump of hand sanitizer, clean your hands off, and then proceed to picking up your bulletin. During this time, we will not have hymnals in the pews, and so the services will be printed out for you. Pick up a bulletin that'll have the whole service and then wait for an elder to usher you to your pew. After you've picked up your bulletin, an elder will escort you to your pew. Our plan for this time is to fill the church from the front to the back so that there's no crossover of people. And due to our limited numbers in the services, we want to make sure that we fill every spot that we have available. 
You'll notice that pews are marked off with two pews uh, closed down in between every pew that is open. And so to maintain that six-foot social distancing, uh, we will make sure that you get to the, the right pew. Once you're seated and worship has begun, it will be very familiar as we'll worship like we normally do. Our service will be modified, however, to move the Lord's Supper to the end as a part of the dismissal. After the pastor has consecrated the elements, they will be moved to the narthex where you will receive the Lord's Supper and a benediction before being dismissed to return to your car. The Lord's Supper will actually begin by dismissing from the back and moving towards the front. You'll come through the narthex, receive the Lord's Supper, receive a benediction, and then we ask that you return to your car. When you come to the back to receive the Lord's Supper, we ask that you receive it by a family unit. This means... Basically, whoever came in your car uh, with you to the service, those are the people that you receive the Lord's Supper with. There are markings on the floor with blue painter's tape to indicate where you should stand. And as you notice, since we can't practice the six feet social distancing in the narthex, the pastors will be wearing masks and gloves to ensure that we don't transmit anything to you. Uh, The cups of wine will be on the table. They'll be spaced appropriately so that you don't touch any of the other cups. We ask that you pick up that cup, uh, move to the marking on the floor, and then you will receive uh, the host, and then you will be able to uh, put that cup in the basket next to the door on your way out. Hopefully this will help you better understand what things will look like as we gather back together as God's people here at Trinity. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video or if you'd like to know more, please contact me or call the church office. I'd love to be able to talk with you a little bit more about this. God's blessings to you and I look forward to seeing you with us for worship.